In this video, I will show you current divider rule. I will show the formula derivation of current divider rule. I will show you the special case of current divider rule when we will have two resistors connected in parallel. And finally, I will show you a numerical example so that you get a better idea of current divider rule. See, here we have two words, current divider. That means we will have a rule which will deal with current division in a circuit. From the concept of series circuit, we know that the current I remains same all over the circuit. And from the concept of parallel circuit, we know that the current I divides through each of the resistors connected in parallel. Therefore, current divider rule is applicable only in parallel circuit. And current divider rule shows how a current, a total current divides through each of the resistors connected in parallel. And we can determine the current flow through each of the branch in the parallel circuit. That means using the current divider rule, we can see how a current divides through each of the resistor and we can determine the amount of current flow through each of the resistor or through each of the branch in a parallel circuit. From the conclusion of current divider rule, we can see the larger the resistance, the lower will be the current flow through that resistor or through that branch. Let's say if I have a branch in which the resistance is Rn and the current that is flowing through that resistance is In. We will see that the current will be inversely proportional to the resistive value of that branch. That means the higher the resistance in that branch, the lower the current flow or the lower the resistance in that branch, the higher the current flow. This is a statement of current divider rule. If we have n resistors, R1, R2, R3 up to Rn connected in parallel across a source voltage V. The nth resistor will have a current flow of In which is equal to Rt get multiplied with It over Rn where this In is the current flow through that branch. The resistance Rt is the equivalent resistance in that parallel circuit. The total current IT will be equal to total current or source current that will divide and the resistance RN will be that branch resistance. Using the formula of current divider rule, we will conclude that the current flow in a branch will be inversely proportional to that branch resistance Rn. That means the current through individual resistor is inversely proportional to its resistive value. That means the higher the branch resistance, the lower the current flow in that branch. Now I will show you the derivation of current divider rule. See here we have n resistors R1, R2, R3, Rn. And they are connected in parallel. Let's say we are supplying these parallel resistors R1, R2, R3 up to Rn with a supply voltage of V. Therefore the source voltage will be V. What will be the equivalent resistance of this parallel circuit? The equivalent resistance will be RT with respect to those two terminals in which the source is connected. So how do we calculate that? By using the equivalent parallel resistance formula 1 by RT equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus up to 1 by 1 over R n. If 
that source current or total current in the circuit is IT. IT is the total current. We can calculate total current by using Ohm's law. Total voltage or source voltage V over total resistance in the circuit. From which I can write down source voltage V will be equal to total current IT get multiplied with total resistance RT. Therefore, it will be equation number one. As the resistors are connected in parallel, therefore the voltage across resistance R1, R2, R3, Rn will be same as they are connected across this voltage source V. Therefore, the voltage across the resistors will be V. Now, if I want to calculate the current that is flowing through the resistor R1, I1 will be equal to the voltage across this resistance R1 is V over R1. From equation number 1, I can write down RT IT over R2 will be equal to I1. What will be I2? Voltage across this R2 is V, therefore V over R2 which will be equal to RT IT over R2. Similarly, I3 will be equal to RT IT over R3. By using the same pattern, I can write down the current IN that is flowing through the nth resistor will be equal to RT equivalent resistance into total current over RN. This is what is stated by the current divider rule. If we have total N resistors R1, R2, R3 up to Rn connected in parallel. In case of small nth resistor, by using the same pattern, I can write down the current flow through that nth resistor is In and that will be equal to Rt It over Rn. In a circuit, the total current IT and the equivalent resistance is RT and they are constant. Therefore, from this formula, I can write down IN. The current through any resistance will be equal to 1 by RN. This indicates that the current in a branch is inversely proportional to its resistance. So this is our current divider rule formula and this is a statement and this is the derivation of current divider rule for nth resistor in a circuit. There is a special application of current divider rule that is when we have two resistors R1 and R2 connected in parallel. We will have a special current divider rule. See, in this circuit the equivalent resistance RT with respect to this terminal to this terminal will be equal to 1 by RT 1 over RT. RT will be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 from which I can calculate RT will be equal to R1 multiplied with R2 over R1 sum with R2. Now if I apply current divider rule according to current divider rule I1 will be equal to the total resistance in the circuit RT over the branch resistance R1 get multiplied with total current I T. Now see R T is equal to R1 R2 over R1 plus R2 divided by R1 get multiplied with I T. So here you will see the current through resistor R1 will be I1 equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 the fraction get multiplied with I 
t similarly we will calculate i2 the current that is flowing through the resistance r2 i2 will be equal to rt over r2 get multiplied with it here rt is equal to r1 r2 over r1 plus r2 over r2 get multiplied with i t here i will see it will be equal to r1 over r1 plus r2 get multiplied with i t and then this is the current flow that is flowing through the resistance r2 now see when we have two resistors connected in parallel r1 and r2 the current through the resistance r1 which is i1 is equal to r2 over r1 plus r2 into i2 look here if i want to calculate the current through resistance r1 i will take the resistance of another branch r2 and divide that with the sum of two resistances i1 will be equal to r2 over r1 plus r2 and we will multiply that fraction with it similarly in case of i2 you will see we will take the resistance of this branch r1 and divide that with r1 and r2 plus r1 plus r2 and we will multiply this fraction with total current it this is the special case of current divider rule when we will have two resistors connected in parallel if i want to calculate the current through r1 i will take the resistance of another branch r2 and divide that with the sum of two parallel resistors and multiply that with total current it now look at this circuit we have total three resistors r1 r2 and r3 10 5 and 20 ohm resistances are connected in parallel we are supplying the circuit with this 12 volt voltage source we have to find the current through each of the resistor we will calculate the current through each of the resistor by using current divider rule after calculating the currents i1 i2 and i3 we have to put our comment regarding the current flow in the circuit so to calculate i1 i2 and i3 we will use current divider rule to apply current divider rule at first we have to know the total current in the circuit so how do we calculate the total current in the circuit by using ohm's law total current in the circuit will be equal to total supply voltage over total resistance see with respect to this terminal to this terminal the total resistance will be rt as the resistors r1 r2 and r3 are connected in parallel therefore we will calculate rt by using this formula 1 by rt will be equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 r1 is 10 r2 is 5 and r3 is 20 so here we will calculate rt so here rt will be equal to 2.857 ohm now we know the total supply voltage is equal to 12 volt and total resistance is 2.857 therefore it will be equal to 12 over 2.857 ohm which will be equal to 4.20 ampere so in the circuit the total current it is equal to 4.2 ampere now see when this it will get into this point it will divide into three portions one will go through the resistance r1 which will be i1 another portion will go through the resistance r2 which will be i2 and the rest of the portion of will be flowing through the resistance r3 that will be i3 now we can calculate the currents i1 i2 and i3 using current divider rule so here using current divider rule what will be i1 see the general form of current divider rule is like this i n is equal to rt total resistance over the resistance of that branch into total current it so here 
current through the resistance R1 which is I1 will be equal to total resistance in the circuit RT over the value of this resistance because R1 will be the branch resistance of this parallel branch multiplied with total current IT so here RT is equal to 2.857 2.857 R1 is 10 and the amount of current is 4.2 ampere. This will be equal to 1.20 ampere. Now what will be the amount of I2? I2 is the current that is flowing through the resistance R2. I2 will be equal to RT over the resistance of that branch get multiplied with total current IT. R D is equal to 2.857 R2 is equal to 5 multiply this with 4.2 this will be equal to 2.40 ampere what will be I3 I3 will be equal to RT over R3 get multiplied with total current IT RT is equal to 2.857 over 20. Multiply this with 4.2. There we will get 0 0.6 ampere. Now see, we are calculating the current that is flowing through the 10 ohm resistor equal to 1.20. We are calculating the current that is flowing through 5 ohm resistor which is equal to 2.40 and the current through the 20 ohm resistor is 0 0.6 this 20 ohm resistance is the largest resistance in this branch and the amount of current flow is the lowest through this resistance and this 5 ohm is the lowest resistance in this branch therefore the current is highest therefore we can justify the conclusion of current divider rule that is the amount of current flow in a parallel branch will be reciprocal of the resistance in that branch. The higher the resistance, the lower the current. For highest value of resistance, we will get the lowest value of current. For lowest value of resistance, we will get the highest value of current. Okay, that's it. Thank you.